This is a Collins water seal spirometer. It's probably the gold standard of all spirometry. We have a six liter volume container that is sitting in a column of water and the water acts as a lubricant and a seal to allow the uh, bellows to go up and down easily. Okay. Over here, the chymograph, which in a little bit we will put some uh, uh, graph paper on, is where the pin will record the uh, moves. Uh, really, you don't need to uh, do a calibration, but this does help to uh, identify that it is measuring correct. So we're going to connect a, a three liter syringe onto, okay, and this drawing. And here you can see the graph of each breath. With each stroke of the calibration syringe, the pen sketches a line onto the chymograph paper. Volume can easily be determined by simple subtraction of numerical values. In this case we look at the uh, beginning of the stroke, in this case it's 420, and the end of one stroke which ends at 3420. Subtract that and it gives us simply 3 liters of volume or 3000 milliliters. For purpose of this demonstration, I am not correcting this information for body temperature and pressure standard. Let's now look at how to do basic spirometry. First demonstration we're going to do will be tidal breathing. A uh, patient can either use nose clips or if they're competent, you do not need to always have the nose clips on. Uh, so we'll start, have the patient simply put the mouthpiece in his mouth and just breathe normal, in and out, gentle breathing. Now all we need is to have the patient breathe about four to six tidal breaths until we get a nice same size breath. Just normal, gentle breathing. Tidal volume can be easily measured by simply looking at the graph for the high and the low. 3,525 minus 4,025 is giving us a tidal volume of 500. And after you get enough even breathing, then you can move to the next test. Okay, we'll stop. Okay, Jim, this time what we're going to do will be a maximum breath, a slow, sustained uh, breath. And what you're going to end up doing will be to take in a great big deep breath in and then just ease it all the way out until you can't get anything out. Okay, okay. so start normal, easy breathing like we just had you do. And then what we're going to do is I'll tell you big breath in, fill it up, then I'll say blow it out and just blow it out medium speed. Not real slow, but medium. Okay? Okay. Normal easy breathing. Big breath in, suck in deep, real big, bigger, 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 bigger. Keep going, going, going. Blow it out, ease it out, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, go on, go on, squeeze it all out, squeeze, 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 keep squeezing, squeezing, okay, keep going, okay, normal breathing, very good, excellent, okay, take and don't put it in your mouth yet, sir, uh, normal, easy breathing, but this time I'm going to have you take in a deep breath in and blow it out real fast, okay, all right, a second, hold on, okay. Going the normal, easy breathing. Just a second, stop. Normal, easy breathing. Big breath in. Suck in deep. Fast 
up. Blah, 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 blah. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, blowing, blowing. Squeeze it out. Okay, normal breathing. Good. <coughs> yeah, that's not. That pin is good. Let's take a look here at the tracing. And really it is a tracing because we have here um, what the pin is traced onto the paper. We begin with the patient breathing nice tidal breaths. And those are the tidal breaths. Looks a lot like what you see on your uh, typical uh, PFT books. Now, here we have the patient take in a great big deep breath. I flip this upside down so it looks a little bit more uh, like you would normally see. It rises up here. I have the patient pause. And then I had them exhale all the way down until they couldn't get anything out. And then they took another breath in. Okay. In measuring pulmonary functions, and this is where old style PFTs when we used to use chymographs long before the advent of computers we simply went in and said okay here's a breath from here to here is one tidal breath uh, from here to here okay so this is inspiration expiration inspiration expiration okay so we simply mark those and say okay now what is this number from here to here. Now this starts out at um, in this is the tidal volume breath. So if you simply subtract 1190, 1140, uh, sorry about that, take 890 from 1140, we have a tidal volume of 250. Pretty small tidal volume, but for purposes of this test, that is our pulmonary function measurement. Now, over here, we have the patient taking a deep breath, but they reached a maximum of 13, uh, 1,320. They exhaled all the way down to 400. Okay, so the vital capacity in this case, which is not that great, is 1320 minus 400 or 880 ml, if my math is correct. Okay. Tidal volume, vital capacity. Okay, so in this case, the measurements are very low. So a low vital capacity is indicative of what measure? Restrictive lung disease.